friends uh, today i'll be installing uh, the ubuntu uh, uh, which is the linux uh, os uh, into uh, my vmware uh, workstation okay so i'll just go through the steps this is the ubuntu iso image which i have downloaded uh, from uh, uh, ubuntu website uh, uh, this is the 64 bit uh, image so let's get started uh, this is my uh, vSphere client so i'll just uh, start and uh, click on new virtual machine let's uh, do the typical one okay i'll uh, name it as ubuntu dash server next i'll select the default uh, data store in my system and it offers to select the linux uh, windows system let's select uh, linux ubuntu now this is the nick cards which i have in my vmware environment uh, you'll have your own uh, vmware network so i'll be selecting uh, my uh, network and keep the nick cards as uh, default one uh let's select uh, let's give it 20 gb of the uh, storage and i will do it as a thin thin provisioned i will need to edit the settings uh, before i can uh, start up my vm so let's click on continue okay so this is the ram uh, and uh, i'll give it uh, 4 gb of ram to this and uh, two cpu cores and i'll remove whatever is not needed okay uh, video card is needed this is needed cd is needed floppy i don't need it so i'll remove it okay uh yep that's it so let's finish it and okay so let's power on the server and uh, here it is This is the console and we need to select the iso image uh, uh, which we have downloaded uh, for this to continue working so here is uh, the option to connect the iso image so let's select the image this is the image okay that's it okay it has uh, started let's uh, give it a few moments okay let me okay yeah here it goes uh, it offers to select the language i'll select english you can move uh, you can do this by up and down arrows on your keyboard and uh, to select and continue you need to press enter okay i'll go with the first option install open to server okay i'll select the english language again this is the installation uh, language Okay, the country, I am in India, so I'll select that. Uh, it will offer to detect uh, the keyboard layout. Uh, usually I don't uh, do that, but let me try this. Okay. Uh, this is optional. Uh, you can uh, just uh, uh, do it manually and select uh, the keyboard from the a list but i just opted to uh auto uh, to detect uh, it for me so now okay okay it has detected as a us keyboard let's continue OK, 
Okay. Okay, let's uh, give the host name. Uh, I will uh, keep it as uh, my dash open to. It will uh, ask you to create a user. Uh, so let me create a user with. Go there, yeah. User one, continue, and this is uh, the username uh, through which I'll be logging in to the machine, and I will give it a password. I will accept uh, the weak password for now. I don't need to do any disk encryption right now. Uh, I don't require it, so I'll select no. Okay, uh, this is the time zone. Yes, it's correct. I'll press yes. Uh, this is the partitioning. I will go with the uh, default option. Uh, to use the entire disk as one partition. Uh, if you need, if you need multiple partitions, you need to select manual and uh, uh, do the partitions uh, manually. Uh, I've selected to use only one partition, so I'll just select yes. Okay, uh, there is no proxy in my environment, so I'll select uh, continue. Uh, continue means no proxy. If you have a, a proxy uh, through for internet connection, uh, you need to enter the IPN port. Uh, I'll be pausing the video uh, whenever uh, it, it, it would take uh, too long to uh, finish it uh, to keep the video length uh, uh, normal. Okay, I uh, did to pause the video. Uh, let's uh, let's continue. Uh, 
okay uh, so it is asking me to uh, uh, auto update uh, the system or do manual update uh, i will keep it as uh, no automatic updates uh, since this is a server and i don't want it to reboot and uh, so now it will ask you uh, what applications uh, do you want uh, to install on your server so this will depend upon your your requirement uh, so oh, whichever application you require uh, you need to select those modules okay for selecting uh, you just need to press space bar so for me i'll just uh, select the open ssh server so that i am able to ssh uh, to it and press enter so this will install those uh, components Okay, so uh, it will ask you if there are multiple operating systems uh, uh, installed on your machine. Uh, and uh, since it's a VM and it's the only OS uh, that uh, I will be running on this VM, I will select the default uh, option to uh, make it as a default uh, Grub bootloader. Okay, so the installation is almost uh, complete. Uh, let's uh, click on continue. Okay, it will uh, do a reboot and hopefully it will come back up quickly. Okay. So it's done and let me log in with the username I created. Okay, so it's up and running. So uh, that's it guys. Uh, I hope that was useful and thank you for watching.